always started the devotional and the last one in a engaged conversation between Nicodemus and Jesus. And in that conversation, Jesus is beginning to teach the teacher. And in that uh, time that they speak together, Jesus gives us some very important information for you and I in the world today. And this we pick up in John chapter 3. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean, Nicodemus asked? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one could enter the kingdom of God without being born of the water and the spirit. Humans can reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. So don't be surprised when I say, you must be born again. Well, probably everyone listening to this video at some point in time in your life have heard that term, born again. But what does it mean? Nicodemus was confused. He didn't understand. See, Jesus lets us know that unless you're born again, you're not going to heaven. It doesn't matter what else has taken place in your life. It doesn't matter if you go to church every week, if you've been baptized, if you've taken communion. It doesn't matter about any of that. If you have not been born again, you will not see the kingdom of heaven. All those other things are critically important. Don't think I'm dismissing them because they are. But the most important thing is the rebirth that is available through Jesus Christ. And you cannot have the intended relationship God desires for us without being born again. When sin came into the world and humanity birthed sin, what we did in our sin was birth death. For the punishment God said for sin was death. Therefore, we are born with a dead spirit, sinful spirit, self spirit. And Jesus says, that has to change. You have to be reborn. You have to have a spiritual renewal that takes place inside of you that is available because Jesus Christ paid the death penalty. He gave his life for us. And in his death, he paid the price for sin and offered life. Friend, if you're not born again, you need to be. If you will just pause right now, ask God to forgive you of your sins. Accept the fact that Jesus Christ paid for your sins. Believe in him as your savior. God's word tells us that he will forgive us and make us new. And this is how we are born again. If you need further assistance with that, please reach out to us. We are praying for you and believing that God is going to renew oh, just a wave of people. In these days and times in which we live, God desires to give you hope. And that hope is found in Jesus Christ. Let's be his church. We're so excited that you've chosen to spend some time today connecting with God, whether you're listening as soon as these videos come out or even months later. Moments like these are special. So if you've loved these videos, take a few minutes right now to share this experience on your choice of social media to let others in on the same connection you've had. Another way to help get these messages out is to help the Ministry of Christian Faith Fellowship financially. You can do that by visiting our website, cfftucson.com give. And lastly, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and then hit the little bell icon so you're always notified when there's new content. Now go and be the church.